Hi, welcome to another episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter. And you've seen it right. We're going to be talking about the Cacticam 6.0. But first, remember, hit that subscribe button down below. Ring that bell. Hit the all notifications. Go up top here and or wherever it's at. And uh, hit that share button. With share with your family, friends, your worst enemy. And leave me a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And we do have a goal. We want to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I greatly appreciate it when you guys uh, do it. Because the algorithm says 80% of you that are watching it are hitting the button. So go ahead and do that for me. That would be greatly appreciated. Okay. As we said before, we're going to be talking about the Tacticam 6.0. Okay. Now the 5 is round. This one's more square. Okay. Round at the bottom. Flat at the top. It's got this nice little screen on here and the on off button right there and uh, the start stop and all that kind of good stuff is right there at your fingertip. The battery is in the back here and I'll show you that guys here in just a little bit. But uh, I've been playing around with it a little bit and before we go any further, let's shoot some video, let's do some video review here. Okay, so this is 4K. So the first frames. one here. One time is shot zoom. at 4K, 30 frames per second. We're trying the one time we're zoom. Trying everything on here. See how it works. And you can see it's crystal clear. For it's any... pretty nice. And even the video, uh, the sound my that you hear on there truck. is and really nice. My car. Okay, really nice. Let's try really something good. else. Okay. So this one okay, here so this one is 1080p is 60 frames per second at eight times the zoom. 1080p. Then you notice that the it's kind of pixelated. Frames per second at eight times. I don't know the if I'm zoom. too crazy about that or not, so but we'll check this out. We'll work on that. So, but it still has crystal clear color on there. Not too bad. The next one here is the slow motion. That slow motion doesn't have any sound. I shot about 30 seconds worth of video. And it comes out to 3 minutes and 24 seconds. Um, so you can even slow it down even more on your computer. Which makes it really, really handy and nice to do. So, um, I like that. Okay. So, let's go on down to... So the, it comes in at the Tactic Cam 6.0 comes in at 299, which is about half the price of a GoPro. GoPros are nice, but they have their limitations. They don't have zoom. This has a zoom on there, so uh, that makes it. You know, price the price I would say is right. It's a little expensive, but you know, you buy them over time. It's really nice. Um, like I said, it has a little on-off button right here. Your battery sits right back here along with your uh, uh, SD card. The, the um, little screen here actually does pretty good. Um, it's also, you also get a uh, stabilizer mount for your compound bow. You can also hook it onto your compound bow stabilizer. Um, it's also got a uh, a rifle mount uh, that goes got the little inserts right here, multiple inserts, and it's another picture of the stabilizer. Uh, it has eight times zoom, uh, touchscreen display, which was fantastic image stabilization which you guys just seen it was pretty stable and that was being handheld uh crystal clear footage at 4k at 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second one touch operation with vibration to, to tell you when it's on off whatever and i'll go and we'll talk more about that in just a moment um it's got um uh up waterproof up to 30 feet which the same thing as the uh um gopro lens is fantastic um and let's see i'm trying to connect 
Uh-oh. Give me just one. I'm trying to connect to my pad. Give me just a moment here. Um, there we go. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a moment. Okay. All right. Low light sensor. Uh, low light sensor. You're probably going to have to go down to, they say about five frames per second for the uh, low light sensor. It has a remote control, which I'm probably going to get. Um, Wi Fi for your smartphone or your iPad. Uh, here's some of the stuff again that it has on there. Um, uh, charging system, which I'll show you that here in a little bit. You can hook up to your phone or your iPad. The thing about it between the phone and iPad, now I've, I'll go again, I'll just go over that here in just a moment. And they also have multiple videos um, that you can watch that are very, very well put together. Some of the accessories they have for it. Um, okay, they're pretty good. Okay, and I'll put the link below to all this. Okay, so I do have one of the mounts, actually two. I got the uh, the the, the uh, Picatinny rail one on my. Uh, crossbow already but this is also another one like I said, this is one that you can hook up anywhere basically and then it comes with multiple uh, allen wrenches i just got them all in one bag and stuff here um when you take these inserts that are in here uh so i can get up there there we go these inserts right here when you take these ones out it's for the tactic cam 6.0 you put these inserts in it's used for the other uh, three, I think, the five, the four, and the solo, and the fishing cam all can go in there, which makes it really nice. So they, they're keeping it convenient. Um, I wish they had some more uh, different types of mounts um, to, uh, to mount it, you know, like to a tripod or something like that. Maybe in the future they'll come out with it. I did get two extra batteries. Two extra batteries for it. The batteries last about two hours. Um, so it's good to have multiple batteries. Now, connecting it to my phone or to my iPad, it, like I said, it's simple. It's easy. It's easier than the um, GoPros, I think. But the only thing I have a problem with this here is it would hesitate as I was moving my camera around for the link. Uh, it was hesitating. Uh, on my iPad here, um, uh, try to see if I can get it without. Okay, let me see if I can bring this stuff up. Oh, wow. Well. I do. But, anyways, uh, I had no hesitation. Okay. Now they got on here your signal connected. This is on the dash. Uh, the signal connected, how much you got left in battery, and storage of your SD card. Um, they have a media source here, so you can look at your your videos or your pictures right here on your pad. Settings. Okay. They have multiple settings. So you said they got camera settings, uh, firmware update, and forgot camera. Delete it. Whatever. So I can have multiple cameras on here either. So you go into camera settings, and you see right there, I get... All this is settings, okay? So, they have a date and time stamp. Um, white balance, but I just got set to auto. Uh, we got frequency, but I don't care about the frequency it's set. We have a time lapse duration. How about that? Um, time lapse intervals. Uh, photo resolutions, um, exposure compensation. You even have a fast motion video speed. You need you set that, put in your camera, and it'll speed up your, your whatever you're doing. Image stabilization, you can have it on or off. I recommend having it on. Um, 
power on auto record. Now, right now, right now, I got my camera set that when I turn it on, it doesn't start recording. I have to just hit that button once and it'll start recording. If I do the remote, I'll probably set the remote to uh, um, when I turn it on, it starts recording. <clears throat> and it's not that, maybe a couple of seconds, maybe, and it starts recording. But right now I have mine off. I just got it where I have to push the button again. Because you can push it, push it, push the start, push it to pause, push it to start, push it to pause. It's really fast. Um, vibration. I have the vibration set off. You can have it on or off. I think when you're out hunting, I think the best thing to do is to have it off. Because that vibration might spook a deer or whatever you're going after. It might spook it. Um, wind reduction. If you need. Um, so if you got your, you set your camera and you have it upside down, okay, it's got a flip mode. You can flip it right in here. It's got multiple modes. Uh, for mode one, two, and three, you can set everything for each one, whatever you want. You can set the video resolution. You can set a slow motion. You can set whatever you want. Uh, even the, uh, go do 720p, you can do that, no problem. It's got three of those. It's got a red dot. I'm not going to use the red dot, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, Video range, two minutes. So after two minutes, it'll, it'll stop. And what we'll do is it'll stop, start recording again. Stop, start recording again. Just like the GoPros do and other, other cameras. Uh, twilight mode, filters, ISO settings, uh, red dot, X and Y axis settings. Um, I may play around with those a little bit, but play around. I'm not probably not going to use if I don't, I don't really need to no need for them really but it has it on there and then you got your format sd card down here at the bottom so you have multiple settings and as soon as you set those settings it immediately goes to the camera immediately no turning the camera off resetting it or anything like that um but yeah i mean it uh Playing around with it a little bit, I already like it better than my GoPro. Uh, just because I got the zoom. Um, and the thing about with the remote, I can set, I can do the, uh, um, uh, on the remote, I can do the, the zoom while filming. Just like on here, let's see here. Um... Okay, so there's my picture. I'm just zooming it. I'm just kind of running around the apartment here. Okay, and right here on the side here, I can change the mode of my camera. Okay, so I got it the 4K up here. I got the slow mo here, and I got my. 180 at 60 i think i think that's what that's set at um right down here is the slider i can zoom in right here on my pad okay without touching the camera so uh, that's pretty neat my record button sits right up here i hit that starts recording um i got my so i can take pictures i can do all sorts of stuff right from my pad um am i gonna be taking the pad out probably not it's too much light even though i can turn it down i don't know i'll think of something um but uh, i probably have to work with my phone 
just a little bit more to uh, get this. I don't have the hesitation. Even though the hesitation doesn't and not interfere with the video, uh, but I can still, like I'm out here in the yard, probably my camp, my uh, iPad will be just fine. If we're out in the bush, I would, I would have to use my phone. Uh, but like I said, I am, I want to get the remote, um, and there, you know, it's, um, accessories, here we go. Uh, it's got, and they've even got, uh, their own, um, stuff for, um, trail cameras, trail camera mounts. Um, we got an FTS, which is, um, okay, come on. Okay, it's um, you shoot through your your scope, okay, and you have the 5.0 camera on there, so you can shoot right through your scope. That's pretty doggone neat. Um, they have uh, their cards. They have the extra rechargeable batteries. They have a dual battery charger. Um, they got the remote. The remote fits. Uh, up to five cameras can be on the remote uh, so when you you can start them all at the same time and that could be important when you're outside so it's good for you know the 6.0 the 5.0 the solo extreme uh, and the fisheye um got the replacement cap here um they got uh USBs, they got their Allen wrenches, their thumb screws and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty doggone neat. Now, let me turn everything off here. Okay, oh, powered off. Now, if you look right there, there's two markings. This says it's locked, it's unlocked. All you do is twist to the unlock, pull it off, your battery's right there, your SD card's right there, and your charging is right there. And you use a USB-C. So, um, there you go. And you can charge it, your battery, right in here. You put your cap back on, twist it, lock it, there you go. Um, so even when it's mounted, the battery goes dead. I don't have to take it all apart to do it. I just twist it, pull it out, put a new battery in. I don't even have to uh, um, uh, take it take it off its mount. Don't have to. Unless you're using the stabilizer. But uh, it just mounts right on there, ready to go. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, so far, looks like it's going to be a great little camera. Um, I can't wait to get out and really put it through the um, uh, trials and tribulations, which is going to be pretty doggone soon. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go from the GoPros. I want to go to the tactic cam, like I said, tactic cams. Are a little bit cheaper than the GoPros, because I think the GoPro 10 is going for like 449 or something like that, and this is going for 299. Then it has the same features plus I think more. Uh, but I haven't played around with the 10. I haven't gotten the 10. I got the 9, but I can tell you, this blows the 9. Of the GoPro out of the water. Total. And so, and the mounts for, for put on your crossbows, for your weapon, for your rifles, or whatever, the mounts are a lot better than the go ones for the GoPros. Um, only thing I wish is that for the mounts, that on the side mount, that I could turn it just a little bit more to shoot down the barrel because um, it is even because it's going to be offset 
in my opinion. But we'll find out. We'll find out together eventually. Um, because I still have to go out. When I go out and uh, recite my crossbow, because like I said, I'm still working with ATN on um, the scope, because it is a little bit high. Um, so I've gone back to my Vortex scope. So we will do some more playing around with that. And I'm looking forward to this. Okay, so that's about all I got for you. Uh, hope you guys got something out of this. But again, there's, for setting up, and all, there's tons of videos up on that um, and all things uh, for it. So uh, hopefully you guys you got something. I'm not quite sure where the microphone is on here. I don't see. Oh, there it is. Right there is the microphone. Let's see if I can get that up there for you guys. Get it focused in there. Little that little button right, that little hole right there. That is the microphone. So it's it's basically it's out of the way it's, because even if you have your hands here on the side, you can't hear. You guys heard it in the video. You didn't hear my hands on here at all because it's right there in the front. I kind of wish it was on top, um, but. That's okay. Um, I think this will protect it from the wind more down here on the bottom. Um, so, yeah, okay. So, hope you got something again. I hope you got something out of this video. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Remember, family first. Take care of your family. By all means, get out there and hunt. And see you on the next episode. Remember, these, dedi these videos are dedicated to my son. Thank you for watching and have a great day.